Welcome back to my virtual over the road trucking adventure in Europe. This video is the fifth day of driving this um, trip from North Macedonia to Northern Norway. Take a look at that map real quick. Can't believe it's taken this long to do it. We still have over a thousand miles, thousand kilometers to go. So we started down here in the Skopje, North Macedonia. We drove all the way up through the Balkans, uh, Hungary, Slovenia, I don't even remember now, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia. We are now in Finland. We are headed north, and then we're going to be crossing over into Norway. I think that we will not get there today. But let's see, where can we stop? Um, we got 16 and a half. Even. Sorry. Let's see. Farther can we go? Yeah, this looks like a good spot. Right here. Hello. You can go to Pello. That's only, well, it's about halfway. Right? Yeah. About halfway. We could go a little farther. Here maybe to this place. So we're actually pulling in. Okay, that's almost 10 hours. That will give us time the next day to deliver. All right, let's get going. So we've got pretty, I think we've got nearly a full tank, 844 liters of a thousand liters, I guess I should say 844 of 1000 liters, because we stopped for fuel, oh yeah, before we came over the on the ferry. Well, once again, we get to drive during the daylight for a while. And of course, I always like that because I like to see the scenery. And it's quite pretty up here. This would be southern or central Finland. Nice. A little bit of stuttering. Gone now. Mostly. Yeah, and that. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh! Ah, well, I don't think I got any damage, but that, of course, is a Swifty. Ah, lost control. Yikes. I should be paying attention better. Oh. Are we going to discover this town? 
Not a great way to start the day. I don't have any sound effects because I'm that only works when I'm in a Discord channel. And currently I am not. I was going to. Because I've been thinking, well, you know, if I have a Swifty, I can do the sound effects. Nah, I won't get one. Yeah. Clearly that was um, uh, overly optimistic. And technically, I probably got one yesterday, the day before. Well, like I said yesterday or the day before, every time I pop out like that, I'm at risk of having an incident or accident. Kind of an example of what I meant by that. Even though it didn't happen while I was in that view, regaining my um, situational awareness once I got back in the cab from the, that view is where that happened. Oh well, still uh, want to enjoy the scenery. And that's the end of the motorway, really, just all of a sudden. I mean, the speed limit is going to drop too. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Oh, yeah, I got 3% damage. I was kind of surprised that hitting that aluminum or plastic reflector stake surprised I didn't either stop me dead in my tracks or give me my truck more damage Is that I thought I heard an animal a big animal like a moose or a reindeer A big yawn there, kitty. Try it again. And the speed limit dropped. And there's the ticket. And there's... I didn't even get all the way... Or I barely got all the way down. 
and the speed limit went right back up. Go into this shop and see if we can get this damage repaired. Let's see what it is. Ouch. Oh, it looks like I'm getting new tires. Yeah, a little bit of everything here. Okay, yep, got new tires for the truck. That was expensive. And some other stuff taken care of. We still got, well, that's just tires on the trailer. Okay. Well, that's better. We are coming up on 3,000 kilometers that we've traveled. I don't know if uh, that shouldn't include the ferry, but maybe it does. Yep, 3,000. Just rolled over that. Oh, I know what I was going to look at. How are we doing on time for delivery? 25 hours. Okay. Should be fine. Well, there is no shortage at the moment of places to stop for fuel. I've noticed that much of the way.
all this roundabout coming up, I thought I'd better slow down. It is definitely getting dark. Er. You know, SES is just doing a heck of a job with the graphics. The sky looks real trees and the bushes look pretty darn close to real. The physics feel pretty good. There it is again. Sounds like somebody's having a bad day. Almost like they're giving birth. Oh, 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 oh. Not that I've ever given birth, but I've been there. aircraft. I know I'm not really talking so much right now because I'm just really enjoying the scenery while I can because it's getting dark. Not that I'll have anything to say later, but right now I'm just enjoying the scenery.
Got two roundabouts coming up that I can see ahead. Roundabouts usually mean a drop in speed limit. I was being a little proactive. Yeah, it's almost dark. Let's have a look at the map and see how far out we are. 221 kilometers or three and a half hours to our van stop for the day. Where is that? Um, well, three and a half hours. See how much time we have left on the clock for today. Almost five hours, so. If we run into any delays we can stop short there's another um fuel stop with a sleep trigger
red light. And we're turning here. I thought it was just going red. Uh, we are going northwest, okay. You know, I don't know what that body of water, it's, it's uh, ocean, like, yeah, this is salt water here. So I don't know what this is called here. Um, but it's like the, the northern most part of ocean water or sea separates Norway from Finland, or no, Sweden. So we're now north of that. So all mainland driving now. But this is a roundabout. Well, the speed limit dropped anyway. You know, we can actually still see pretty darn good. Considering it's 2 a.m., after 2 a.m.
I think that was our backup spot there. Yep. Speed limit's 50 here. Missed that. Again. Why does it look like the sun is coming out of the north? Because we're rolling. Uh, northwest, aren't we? Yeah, no, north. We're rolling north. So why does it look like the sun is coming out of or the, yeah, out of the northeast? That's weird. By the way, I think that was not our backup spot we passed. Or maybe, it, yeah, it was. As I can see our destination for today was on that last view. it is coming up so yeah that last fuel stop on the left side of the road that was our backup uh, stop not for fuel but for sleep trigger if we had run into any delays that's where we were gonna stop and we could have anyway because we still got I mean for the final day's drive we're gonna have about 400 kilometers give or take Yeah, so we're pointed mostly north right now. Why is that sunlight coming up and out of the north northeast? It makes no sense to me. Unless that's because of the that's the direction it would come from because of the way that the earth is tilted and it's nighttime. I don't know. There's our stop right up ahead. Wanted to, uh, to, 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 I guess I still can. I wanted to get a picture. <clears throat> I signaled a little early. I wanted to get a photo when I was driving over a bridge or something.
Well, maybe tomorrow. I wonder where that road goes. There's that yawn. So we have made it here. Um, oh, I want to look at the map. Where does that road go? It just goes up here towards Kitila. Like a neat road to take that I haven't yet. All right, we still have 421 kilometers to go to get to our destination, Setter Moan. And what is the name of that? Where is the place we're delivering to? SAS Cargo. Well, that's going to do it for this trip. For today, anyway. We've got one more driving day yet to go. And then we can just start heading for Poland. That will be after this. Norway to Poland. Thanks for riding along with me, and be sure to uh, watch for the next video after this and finish this up and make our delivery.